I put them. Yes, the Scarellis. <laughs> I love that politician. <laughs> oh wait, no, he was the pharmacy guy. The yeah. Martin Scarellis. Ah. 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 The Arnold supply the word. The Hans and Franz. Where were you guys? <laughs> we were like at a baseball game coming from. I, I don't know. In my mind, I wanted to say it, but I didn't get to it. In my mind, we were at a baseball game, but we just like showed up there. We were on our way from a convention. Why did you say it? I don't know. I almost did at one point. Oh, we're, look, we're looking out at a field of players. Oh, yeah. <laughs> were you, were you, uh, yeah, uh, we were looking at players. Patrons? Players. Customers? Yeah, we were looking at, I don't know. We were, just looking at, <laughs> we were tourists who wandered into a That's beach. why I thought, yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. That's what the, uh, that's what the uh, um, <clears throat> opening lines are for. Uh, who am I, who are you, what are we doing here? It clears things up an awful lot. Yeah. You know? Well, here we are. It's very simple. All you have to do is say, here at the... Three simple words. Oh here at the, here at the, the parking lot. Game. Here at the dugout. Here at the here on first base. Here on the home plate. Here on the uh, the fifty yard line. Uh, whatever. Here on the at the circus books. You know whatever it might be. Just say here at the if you don't know. That's that clears things up. Um, <laughs> you can hounds are invading. <laughs> now so we said a baseball game. This is something I don't, I don't know how many you, you know, some of you are used to this. Maybe some of you are new to this, but. Uh, this is where you have control over a lot of things. Baseball game is what? You, you say baseball game. What, what does that mean? What does it tell you? Sports. It's a, yeah, right. Spectators. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a baseball game going on. Who could be at a baseball game? Celebrities. Everyone. German. German tourists. German tourists. Who else is at a baseball game? Arnold. The mascots. Yeah. Uh, dugout. Concession, peanut people. Uh, mm -hmm. Umpire. Yeah, yeah umpire. Baseball players. players. All that, my point is, you, you can be anybody you want in that. We, we usually go for the, uh, for the for the typical, you know, a customer type of thing. But you could have been manager and uh, and relief pitcher. I thought we were going to be players. I had a bat. Oh, that was good. I, <laughs> I didn't see your bat. Yeah. I didn't see your bat. I was trying to play. I, was I really thought it was like a souvenir that you got. <laughs> I thought we were playing the game. Well, <laughs> I just don't different. know how to sports. This is. This is why no one can read your mind. Yeah. I thought this. Well, I thought this. I was going to say, but I did yeah, not. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't uh, say. I'm too afraid to mess it. No, you're not gonna, you can't mess it up. There's no script. We were too distracted by the dog. <laughs> and anyway. your own accent. Yeah. 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 You have a little too much fun with that. So, but even even art where you have to hear at the thing, hear at the dugout where we're going. Oh, you're going up. You're going to be batting next. You're going to, you know, talking Mexican all the time. But, um, uh, but you know. It's, don't be afraid to say it. What, what can you mess up? What can you mess up? It's nothing that's not established. How can you mess it up? Yeah, just go and do it. Just go and do it. It makes it much easier for you guys, for everybody. Who's up? I think the game eventually became, hey. What can we say in this episode? <laughs> 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 still on. Pokemon Go. <laughs> My button didn't. Charizard. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do we start already? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're just trading belts. <laughs> uh, Brandon, you can buy belt. You have a belt now. Huh? Huh? Are you back? You want more? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a belt. Have Where are we? <laughs> I got a rope backstage. Apparently Where are they? Strip club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Mike bachelor Vegas. party. You're getting married. Oh, and oh sick. And Jordan. <laughs> yeah. And Jordan's taking you out for your uh, your last uh, hurrah. At a, at a, what is it? A strip, strip club. <laughs> Gentlemen's Club. Gentlemen's Club. Yes, the Gentlemen's Club. It's so ironic. There's only gentlemen go there. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Jeffrey, as your best man, I'm going to pay for everything in this club. I, I know how much you like... Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> and, but tonight, we're going to let it go. Let it go? <laughs> yes. We're going to... Let it all go. You can let it all go. I'm sorry. Uh, so once we get inside, <laughs> once we get inside, we're gonna grab the Canadians. Can Canadians, because they are the oddest <laughs> strippers. I love the 
Canadians. Uh, Canadian <laughs> strippers. They like to say A a lot. And B. Touch. Poop. Touch. Poop. Oh. Touch. Oh. Touch. Oh. Touch. Oh. Go ahead. What? Why? What? Why? A and lie. <laughs> a lot. While they strip. Well, most of the hottest women do lie. And they all are grade A. You're right. Oh. Or they're grade B. B. <laughs> no, that's the Asians. Oh. No. So, okay. Dude, okay, so. Stacy over there, she, she, was ta she was talking about you as well. But Michelle is in the back, and she's coming on soon. But the only problem is, is she has... Anal beads. Anal <laughs> beads that she wants to use on you. But it's going to be free, and I don't want to pay a thing. Which is great, because I know what you like, you know? So these anal beads, they go where? What? <laughs> between your toes. Where was the blade? Between your toes, right? No. That is Mexican. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> yes, go they go in between your toes. I right. tickle your toes. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say thank just you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna give you a stronger focus on this one. Uh, stay there. Don't break. Don't break. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, 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 Jordan, you, uh, you, you uh, actually are in love with his, uh, his fiance. Oh, I like it. Better fo <laughs> focus on that. Hot. No, she likes it. Take it from there. Here, sit down. Stacy will be, uh, Michelle will be right in with the beads. Yeah, give me a pose. Oh, yeah, that, that's going to Rachel. She's going to love that. Rachel? I thought we were talking about Stacy. <laughs> Do you not remember who your fiancé is, you moron? You said Stacy. Wait, no. Rachel. <laughs> um, it's Rachel now. It's Rachel. So, okay, so I did have been wanting to tell you something happened between me and Rachel that I never told you. We... Ate watermelon. Ate watermelon <laughs> one day. And it, you know how juicy it is when you bite into it. <laughs> Just all those red juices drip on your face. And I was, I saw it from a distance. And. And what? No, don't. No, okay. no, 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 let me tell you. I'm trying to tell you what. <laughs> you give me a headache. She started doing, she started licking the cat. Cat. <laughs> As, uh, as I was, uh, she was licking the cat <laughs> that was full, also with full of juices. Oh God! Because oh. the juice. <laughs> this situation oh. sounds gross. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, Delicious. I could. I could. Oh. Oh. The watermelon. Oh. That makes sense. The cat was oh, like the first oh, watermelon. Man. The watermelon juice got in the cat. Oh, oh my! She's like, ah. Oh. Oh, I feel dumb today. <laughs> well, I apologize. <laughs> and what? <laughs> <laughs> and the word I'm looking for is what? What, what word am I looking for? Yeah. I'm oh trying to get my god! Like, oh, <laughs> um, so stupid today. Okay, so it's just a it's just a lack of focus. You need a stronger focus. That's why the first one was not going as well as well. So, uh, again, just like what's at a uh, uh, baseball game, what's at a strip club? Uh, who, why are we there? Okay, we're there for his, his bachelor party, his last night of freedom. Um, so, okay, we got this, we, we kept our stage. You have all these nice little things, you know, the drinks or whatever. When you say something like, I know you're, I know you're like, I know you really like, uh, Stacy, it could have been anything else at that point. You know? I know you really like uh, whiskey. I know you really like robots. I mean, yeah. So no matter what they give you, okay, you're gonna have to go down that that avenue. Okay. In this case, it was Stacy. So hey, good. Everything else is out of the way. Stacy, we can focus on. Um, Stacy. But it wasn't it wasn't going anywhere. So we have to then bring it down to a point. That's like, why am I here? Okay. Uh, we got the location, but not, this is where you just start giving yourself reasons for being there. So. Besides just the party and you know sending them off, uh, maybe I have something important to tell. Raise the stakes a little bit on these things. It's called you know, raising the stakes. Uh, 
Uh, you're investing more. You're investing more in the story, basically. And uh, with, when you invest more, you have more to lose. And when you invest more, you have more to, more to gain. Um, and when you invest more, the audience is invested with you. Yeah. Hey, let's just do this. Let's get drunk and do this. Hey, what I'm in love with your uh, fiance. You know, what? And that's when you can start playing the real part. When I said play the reality, <laughs> like we ate watermelon, we ate we ate watermelon together. What? You did what? You know, like you, like you kissed or slept together or something. You know? Oh man, I can't believe it. The watermelon just she kissed. No. You know, so that's when you get, get to play the reality of something stupid. You kind of balance it out. Um, licking the cat. So <laughs> so lost. It was lost, but once you get once you get that focus of why, who am I, who are you, what are we doing here? We're talking about something. Anything that comes in, you know, we can. I know what I want. I just don't know what I'm going to get. That's the uh, that's the beauty of it. I know I'm mad at you for some reason. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punish you with a meme. A meme. I'm going to send you. A, Ten memes every day on Facebook, and you see how you like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Because I, I know what it is. I want to do. Not you, Jeremy. All right, here we go. Tomorrow. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who's left? Who's it gone? Oh, you get to go with Doug. Yeah. Or. Uh, Number three. Aren't you lucky? Super. All right, here we go. Well, you have a cow. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I don't know. Denise forced you out the other time, but you'll see. All right, what's going on with these two? Uh, they're at. That's gone. What's a, let's see an action or rather than a location. Let's see something that's a bit more physical. Um, they're driving surgery. Driving the love boat. Something yeah. they have to accomplish. Or surgery. They're, yeah. The surgery, okay. Yeah. So you got so a gurney in front of you with a patient. That's that's okay. You can have an invisible man that way because he's unconscious, I hope. Um, <laughs> you know. Ah! Get the who, what, where, get the who, what, where out of the way first before you start doing this. Before you get, start getting suggestions, establish your foundation first. Who am I? Who are you? What are we doing here? Are you a team? Is one a doctor? One assistant? Who's a surgeon? Who's what? Here at operating room number four or something. I don't know. But who's on first? So, and then you can start getting your, your, your blanks. Real quick. Here we go. Take it away. Dr. Sal, here at Disneyland's emergency <laughs> surgery department. We take pills. Pills <laughs> and insert them in the open wound. Oh my goodness. I think that's a wonderful idea. You know, I, I, I've i been wanting to work here at Disneyland for the past 53 years, and now we have our chance, nurse. Samantha. More pills go in there now. More pills. I would up. like to request a reason for pills in a cavity. I think that pills in a cavity are good because... Dragons. Dragons <laughs> do not fit in there. <laughs> that closes up, so we should put one dragon in there and it'll be full. I think that's a marvelous idea. It would never have come to me at all. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're going to get it because if you called it, it wouldn't have come. Let's <laughs> try. Right. Dragon in there. Hey, Charlie, are you still playing that dragon? Yes. <laughs> I think Charlie is not playing the violin. Sad. Violin. Violin. Oh, I play the violin. Put the violin in here, or let's put the violin in here. We need to call the well, can't we just have a little tune first? Okay, and if this person stops breathing, that's okay. <laughs> it's flatlining. It's flatlining. It's flatlining. Oh, I hate the sound of those. Oh, oh James. El Elton. 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 Just, just gesture when you want a blank there, Larry. Just gesture to the audience. I hate the sound of those elephants. Elephants? Oh, I can tell that they're racing toward us even though I can't see them yet. But things are getting very noisy, aren't they? I think so, and we should close up the wound. Let's suture this up because an elephant's going to get in there. Yes, and they're going to get in there very, very soon, and I'm just going to leave you to do it. Okay, I'm sewing up the big wound, and I'll double sew it like I do my underwear. <laughs> there. That's quite all right, but the yarn is a terrible color. I 
know, but it's all we can sow the <laughs> weeds sound. Weeds with. <laughs> weeds in the backyard need sowing every day, especially here at Disneyland. <laughs> no, all right, Blackout. <laughs> Yay, Blackout. <laughs> I just heard saying I know, I just sound. Talking <laughs> You're the only one? Yeah. Oh. Music. I just kept saying this. <laughs> the Disneyland thing was fun. Yeah, that was hilarious. Well, that was, was fun. Like, doesn't it doesn't it give you a sense of I know where I am now? Oh. Disneyland. You know, in the emergency room, you, you would instead of Cedar Sinai or something like that, I was like Disneyland. Well, we can have a little fun with this one now. It's know? Saint Mickey's Hospital. Yeah, <laughs> uh, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like, get the uh, yeah the the Mick uh, the Mick Dick what do you call it again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the pills they were pouring in. Forget it, I can't think anymore. Um, <laughs> well, you know how they all have names for their things? They just super. No, I, I I but my point here is now, since you have that, you have a nice little field to work in. You have a nice little area to work in. Um, we got a little lost with the dragons, but I liked it. You know, we got the dragons don't fit in there. Then we, when we call out for the dragons, you know, something about are you done with them yet or whatever? Um, just well, I was trying to insinuate that there was. A person playing a dragon. Oh. Uh, I, I want to kill or use to it. Oh, okay. Something I like thought you were saying play I'll with the dragon. I'm a racist All right. dragon. I, that's what I heard. <laughs> the image in my head. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> my, yeah, well, that's, you got to make it clear, though. Just make it clear. Uh, also, be aware of, Be aware when you're going out in the outer limits of these things. When the, if the, uh, if the uh, scene is taking place here and you want to step out of the boundaries or out over the borderline, Make sure what you're doing and you bring it back in. Try to keep it immediate, you know? It's like it, it avoids that future talk I was uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, and it avoids things that aren't happening here. You know, if you want to bring the dragons in, okay, you can bring it into the scene. Always remember, be aware when you're stepping out and when you get, come back in. <coughs> Once you step out, it's, we're not dealing with the immediacy. So you feel cold over there. Yeah. <laughs> then come back in with it. You can always step out and come back in with something. You're adding something to the scene, you know? Just uh, my point is just be aware when you're doing that, okay? Because we can paint ourselves into a circle here. Um, all right, who's left? Miss Rebecca and Mr. Doug and Mr. Stevens and I'll play. Come on up, dear. <gasps> Chixine. Woo! All right. Doug, do you want to be a part of it? That's not my fault. Like I that. said. So you're asking if we should have a threesome on stage? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Uh, we'll get two. Two girls, two. one Doug. We'll get two and Doug. Uh, Doug will find somebody. I'll go. Yoga. Uh, <laughs> yoga. Okay. Yeah. Let's do yoga. Uh, who am I? Who are you? What are we doing here? Uh, you know what the activity is. Uh, just don't turn it into a teaching scene. Okay, now do this and now do that. And how do I do it? Don't, don't do any of that. Um, Let's say you're uh, uh, you're uh, BFFs, and uh, you go there all the time, and, sh and Rebecca needs de-stressing for something because of something in her life. So you're taking her to your your yoga to help her out and help her de-stress. Okay. De-stress. Take it away, Nikki. Carol, you're so stressed. You need <laughs> to meditate. You need to do some yoga. Give it a shot. I just don't feel like yoga would help. I just, I think it's something else. I think it's Project? Ladder? I don't know. I'm just, I just can't handle stuff, life. And how can positions help that? How <laughs> 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 they put you in a position? Downward dog. I don't think she was putting on <laughs> <laughs> Like downward dog. Super awkward. And you get in it and you're just like, I I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm out. <laughs> so how can looking like a dog help you figure out life? No, it's an excellent question. I don't know. <laughs> it, no, it, the instructor, they just keep going and they're like, yeah, just, you know, I think it's like a, it's like a, a test. It's like a test. <laughs> of, your mental capacity. They're like, if we can confuse you, then all your woes go. <laughs> Interesting. I really, I really think. Morning. Time would be best for me. Repeat the word. I really think. I really think morning time would be best. I'll try it out. I'll try it. And uh, I'll give it my best. Bacon. 
bacon, because I like bacon. Oh, they serve bacon there. It's fantastic. <laughs> and if you do the downward dog, you get bacon and... Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> so they feed you? <laughs> That's why I go. I will totally go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got the bacon, you got the chicken, you got the downward dog, and sometimes there's cucumber water. I was really hoping there'd be Dead men. Men. <laughs> there. Are there any men there? Yes, but they're they're pretty to look at, but they're not exactly sexy. Gorillas. Gorillas. Straight. <laughs> Remember we did Macaws a couple weeks ago? How important that word is? Uh, this is where that this is where something like that comes in. Um, you can you can lead wide open fields like you were doing if you want to. I really think, and maybe I could. Kind of, it, it's a big uh, blank to fill with lots of words and phrases. Otherwise, you can go something like I say, just stick with one word, a noun of some sort. But uh, whatever they say, you know, I think. I know what I want, I just don't know what I'm going to be thinking, so just be prepared for what it needs to give you, depending on what it is you ask for. You know, where did you leave the blank? How big a space will be? Um, where was the second place at a, at a uh, yoga yoga studio? Was it? Is that where it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A yoga and brunch studio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a yoga and brunch and hump. Were you there yet? She said she wanted to go in the morning. You want to go in the morning? Oh, yeah. It was, still, it, was, it was still the future thing. Yeah, it was yeah. still that future thing. Because uh, you can always have action while talking. So if, if this was a uh, you know a yoga studio or something like that, you can be, be sitting on the floor, no kind of stretching, whatever, you know, and th that's fine. And talk about things there. You don't have to continually do exercises. You can just stop and you know, and you know lean on your hands while talking, and then kind of do some stretches here and there. That's fine. It just gives you something to do. It's a picture of action okay, between the words, um, and this kind of sets the place in your mind. It's in your mind. It's in her mind. It's in the audience's mind. We all join at the same time. Uh, so we just right now we had two women just you know kind of talking and that guy thought you were there but then he said you want to go and I said well maybe it's future stuff again so be aware of what you're saying just put it right there put it in the immediate area all right who's left Doge Doge come on down who wants to go with Doge you know, I can't you know, Steven, 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 you Steven, 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 Brother-in-laws. <laughs> Brothers-in-law. All right. Um, so let's see. Brothers-in-law. Uh, you know what? You uh, you you married into the you, you, the two families you married into uh, really have nothing in common, and now you're kind of like stuck stuck with each other. <laughs> you know, an after dinner type of thing. Oh. Okay. You really have nothing in common, but maybe you eventually will find. Jeffrey, <laughs> sweet family dinner? Yeah, I asked for mine and stirred, but thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, listen. That's right, you can have the small one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been really cool having you at, like, at the family parties, Jeffrey. <laughs> you know, like, really like partying with you, but like, it's one thing's been on my mind this whole time. And I can't figure out you've been wearing those shoes. Those oh, shoes. 
those shoes that like look like overalls. <laughs> but it's freaking weird. They're like, and they like, I don't know if you want to do clogs. They kind of look like the Jesus dude, but they're denim. Yeah. <laughs> they withstand a lot of punishment. They're comfortable yet durable, and they're very easy to put on. You just hook it like that, and it's on. <laughs> I, I run a. I own the shop, the uh, the denim shoe shop right down the block. I could get you a deal. Oh, right down there on um, First Street. First Street? Yeah, right, the right one right, right next to Second Street. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you probably would have seen that if you had the map or the uh, or GPS. Or GPS. Or Lead you right there. I didn't even know you guys used GPS. I thought you, oh, you guys are Amish. You guys are, you guys are, uh, what? Hey, Jewish! Man. You guys are Jewish! Yeah, so we got the app at half cost. Oh, well, you know, the, the shoes make sense. Of course, and you know, to fit a in, you just cut the tip off. However... <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> oh. However... <laughs> so that's why I came over to the bar to talk to you. 